What is good, YouTube fight fans all over the world? I know it's dark. It is literally five something a.m. at the a.m. in Texas. Um, I just dropped the the new cruiserweight crossover sparring camp champion off, Patrick McGough, aka Top Illusion, at the airport. And I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys, man, and just like just have a one-on-one -on -one with everybody, uh, and just share my thoughts on this whole event, you know, and how it went down and the experience. So this is going to be a surprisingly long video because you know I got about 35 minutes drive home. I don't plan on making a video 35 minutes, but who knows? And again, I apologize for how dark it is. First off, I want to start out by saying. I apologize for the lag and the lack of quality in the live stream the other day at our event. That's just the nature of the beast when you're doing live streams. But I wanted to showcase an event for you guys and you can embark on the whole, you know, little journey that we set out together. And I just want to say a huge shout out to both fighters, both combatants, because they did their thing. They literally, they literally did their thing. And I couldn't be more proud of both of them. <clears throat> it was really, really hard for me to give you guys a clear winner because both, both of the fighters fought their heart out and the fight was so close. The only rounds that I could clearly give, clearly give to each of the fighters is Trey definitely had round one and round four was packed. Other than that, all the rounds for me were dead even. And the reason why I lift it up to the viewers is because it was a live stream and we did that for you guys. Because I honestly, I always want to record and edit. Because you can make it more interesting, you can take all the long and boring parts out. And you can make it pretty much a highlight reel, but if I'd have done that, and, and, and the fight went exactly how it went yesterday, then how would we get a clear vote? Now, there were some people that were upset about the fight being based on a poll. And my response to that is I didn't know any other fair way to do so. You guys were there. You had an opportunity to watch the fight in its entirety. Yes, there were a couple of lags and a couple of skips, but you can make it out the best you could. And there was a lot of people saying a draw. There was a lot of people saying Trey won, and there was a lot of people that said Pat won. But you can't satisfy everybody. Everybody's always going to have something to say. You know, and I, I knew that, and I explained to both fighters, don't be surprised if someone's upset if you win or if you lose, because that's just how it is. People are going to be people. But I told them I didn't really care because no one <laughs> outside of this put in one red cent to put this event on. Nobody knows what goes into putting, you know, putting on an event, even a small, minute event that went on in my backyard yesterday. You don't know what it takes. You don't know the actual money that is spent. You don't know the time and sacrifice. Some people know that. Some people appreciate it. And that's why some people hold back their gripes and their complaints because they understand the sacrifice. First of all, you had two men, two young men get in there and put their life on the line. What do you mean life, real talk? They're amateur boxers, you know, that the, the, technically they were sloppy. You know, it, you know, it was, but it was entertaining. But what do you expect when you got two fighters who've been fighting a little more than a year? You have to get off that. It was sloppy. What do you expect? What do you expect? Some, sometimes you have to <clears throat> you have to use your common sense. And you have to think before you speak. It was entertaining. Yes, it was sloppy. I get that. It's raining right now. If I walk outside, if I get out of this car, I'm going to get wet. <laughs> it's common sense, you know? And these guys put their life on the line. They were throwing haymakers, bro. They were getting caught clean. And I'm talking about repeatedly getting caught clean. <clears throat> And they kept going. <clears throat> Excuse me. They didn't fold. They didn't quit. That's how you know you're set apart. 
Not everybody can do this fight thing, this boxing thing. Not everybody can. But when you can run straight into the storm and keep fighting and don't and don't quit, you're set apart. Guess what? You're different. Not everybody on this earth can say that. These two men can say that. No matter how sloppy they are, no matter what level of, of skill that they're on, they're set apart. And that's my personal opinion, and I've been around a fight game for a while. Not everybody has this type of heart and fortitude. I commend these guys, and I love them, I respect them. And everybody else should too. Everybody else should too. Pat one. I left it up to the polls, the votes. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at the at the situation. Get your butt on and vote. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're looking at the polls and you say, oh man, this guy's winning, I don't think so, then guess what? Do something about it. Votes matter. Change. Change it. Vote. Secondly, I want to thank my wife. Because she sacrificed a lot too. I want to thank my brother, Justin Weekly, who was always coming through to help in these situations. Appreciate your brother. And I want to thank the Ingram family. When Pat got on Instagram and said that they, the, the Ingram family came down to watch their son fight, and they were cheering us both on. He said, I never, I don't, I, he said, I'll never understand that. I, he said, I will never understand it. He's like, I didn't think people like that existed in this world, and they do. And that's me in Arkansas for you, man. Why do you think I have so much respect for Trey and his family? They were happy for Pat that he won. Of course they wanted their son to win. Of course. But they understand. They understand what these guys go through. And they understand what Pat went through to get here. Pat came down here on his own accord. His own accord. He challenged Trey. He saved up his hard-earned money to come down here and fight. They understood that and they appreciated it and they respected it. That's why they showed love to Pat as well. And it's just their way. That's the Ingram way. It's the Ingram way. That's why I'm going to do my best to get this thing on a bigger platform. I'm going to try to get some sponsorship. I'm trying to. I'm going to try to make this thing as big as possible. And it's a long shot. I'm a dreamer, y'all. I dream big, and ain't nothing wrong with that. And I'm willing to do what it takes. There was a lot of things that were done that I did. But Pat was like, "Real talk. What are you doing, man? You don't have to do this. Like, what do you? Like, this is what I do." Both of these guys are young. You know what other crazy crap they could be doing? These, 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 these boys could be into drugs. These boys could be out robbing people. These young men could be out. They could, they could have a criminal mindset doing criminal things, but they're not. They're strapping up. They're strapping up and getting in a ring and fighting in front of a bunch of critical people who ain't got the fortitude to do it themselves. That says a lot, man. That says a lot, and I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. And I honestly feel like I didn't do enough. Pat was like, man, you did plenty. You went above and beyond. And I respect that, and I appreciate that. Because now he understands that when I say the realest of the real, I mean that. It's not no lie. This is what I do, y'all. And this ain't me patting myself on the back. This ain't me being braggadocious. This is what I do. God made me this way. And you know what? I'm glad he did. God made my family this way. God made the Ingrams this way. And that's the big picture. That's the big picture. It's a long weekend, man. I finally get some time to myself and my family. I don't regret anything that went on this weekend. It was nuts. <laughs> It was complete and utter nuts, man. But you know, we did it, y'all. We did it. And I'm cool with how everything turned out. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys for showing mad support, mad love. And this is still only the beginning.
I'm gonna focus on this road, get my butt home. I hate when it rains. I hate driving in the rain and when it's dark. It's not gonna be light for another probably 20, 30 minutes. So, you know, I might be going the wrong way right now. I don't know, who cares? I don't have to work till tomorrow. <laughs> Stay up, people, man. Stay up. Respect all, fear none. God bless. Next time, real talk boxing. I'm up and I'm out of here, baby.